the best advice I've ever received. Um, Ooh, best advice I ever had from cooking. Um, <laughs> uh, in this business, God, that's a good question. Um, Go do something else. The best advice that I ever received was actually from the first chef that hired me. The best advice I ever received is don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Never let them see you cry? I don't know, you know, it's kind of, uh, it, being a chef and being a female in this industry can be kind of tough. Um, you gotta have thick skin and I certainly have gotten thick skin over the years. And his advice was that um, your skills are where culinary schools aren't gonna teach you anything except sauces. And being a really funny guy, and he goes, Look at me, I'm French, I'll teach you every sauce you need to know. I remember uh, during my, uh, my exit interview, uh, he, I, I had not gotten a cookbook yet, so I asked him to sign a cookbook, and uh, the last sentence of the cookbook that he signed for me was, you're only as good as your last dish. Uh, two things, don't ever ask anyone to do anything you wouldn't do yourself, and number two is there are no shortcuts in life. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. I'll tell you the best advice I ever received was from um, a gentleman who had been in the restaurant business for a hundred years and he told me, he said, Kenny, he said, this business isn't rocket science. He said, serve a good product, um, take care of the people um, and serve it at a fair price and they'll come back. No matter where you are, no matter who you're cooking for or whatever you're doing, uh, your last dish is really a representation of where you've come from and everything that you've done, so everything that you cook you know, exemplifies that process. So put forth your best for every, for every dish because it might be your last.